This video is sponsored by PageProof. One of the things that I wanted to show is how do we take advantage of this appearance panel to do something that I call production advocacy. And here's what production advocacy is all about. Don't paint yourself in a corner. Don't get stuck. I don't know if you guys have ever had a client change their mind. <laughs> Based on looking at some of your desktops in my travels, I'd say that's true because then I look at your desktop and it's like icon version one, version two, version three final, version three final final, version three final final, oh my God, make up your mind as the art director leans over you. Okay, so production advocacy is how do you work in that uh, mindset that you don't paint yourself in a corner? Okay, so here's a bunch of icons, right? We've probably all had a project like this before where we've got an icon library. Maybe you're working with a web dev group and maybe you're working with a, a print layout designer that's working in InDesign. Who knows what it is? But they come to you and they usually want multiple versions of the icons as an asset library, right? Do we have a dark version? Do we have a light version? Do we have that? Okay. So what you see a lot of people doing is saying, okay, I'm gonna, I'm gonna grab this, all right, I see the yellow color, I could go over to a swatch, I could change the color, cool. Work one at a time. Um, I wanna change that mindset a little bit for a second. And so if you're familiar with the appearance panel, you're very aware that if you have an object, and now I've gotta find my appearance panel, there it is. It's, it's, it's early, guys. Okay, so we see in here, down here you can see it's got a fill that's red, a stroke of nothing, yeah? Now, this is an appearance property that is set for the object. It's at the object level uh, of the appearance style. The thing is, is I'm very big into working into toolkits. How do I make a toolkit to speed up the workflow for my teams? So if I know that I wanna have a dark version of the icon, a light version of the icon, et cetera, how do I set up systems that make that faster, right? So people are aware that you can have an object appearance property, but what a lot of people aren't aware of, let me hide this for a second, I'm gonna go to layers. So everything's on one layer, and if, if you've done it before, you know this little button that's over here hidden on the side? This allows you to select everything that's on the layer, right? It's like a select all, but it only targets that layer if you click on that button. So you can see everything's selected. What's interesting is if you make a new layer that has nothing on it, okay, and you select that using that button, the appearance panel now says, you're controlling the appearance property for that layer, not the objects. So right now you're setting a value for that. And what this means is, if I wanted to in here, I could say, you know what, I'm gonna add a fill property to that layer, so there's black. I'm gonna do another new layer. We'll do a fill property by selecting that layer. And let's tell this one not to be that. Let's do a light gray so you guys can at least see it, okay? All right, so now, all of my icons being here, all I would have to do is on layer one, if I take all of the art that's on layer one, I'm gonna grab this little dot and drag it up. And what that allows us to do is move any content from one layer to the next layer. So if I just drag that up, they all become black. Drag it up here, they all become the gray. So you can make layers for the brands that you work with and say, hey, this is gonna be my Pantone 282 layer. This is going to be my layer that has only a stroke outline and no fill. You can set any appearance property you want as a value for the layer, and the moment you drag it to the layer, it automatically adopts that appearance. Well, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, be sure to give it a like and subscribe to our channel. And for thousands more how-to articles and tutorials, visit our website, creativepro.com, and become a member today. Thanks for learning with us.